Yep, summer's definitely here. Hit 123 degrees the previous day. Hit about 113 on this day. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you an easy way to check capacitance. What you need is a multimeter that can take microfarad readings. The field piece meter is one of them. Definitely one of my favorite meters in that you can also use a K-type uh, clamp to check, check temperature, which is useful for measuring superheat and subcool. So definitely really cool for HVAC techs. Anyway, here's how to test capacitance. Nice, easy way. I don't work for field piece, I just like the meter. Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, I had a uh, air condition, the fan motor wasn't working, and the compressor wasn't starting. So I uh, pulled the disconnect and then uh, taken down the capacitor, capacitor holds the here. charge in it even after uh, disconnected so don't forget you can check to my video on good practice to get in for these capacitors dangerous. oftentimes they're putting the label on the other side where you can't read it and it's just kind of annoying but anyway uh, you want to make sure you pull the disconnect first and then discharge your capacitor so I'll show that here this one was a 40 slash 5 which I didn't have in uh, another upcoming video. I'm going to show you how you could make one. I actually had a separate 35 and uh, a 5 and another 5 and so you're going to show you how you're able to make them. Not always the best situation. It's better to go with the original part but just show you survival method how you could get through it. Okay so I'm not sure if I have a 40 slash 5 and also notice the compressor wasn't running when we got to it. The thing is it's uh, I'm going to take a measurement on our capacitor and we're going to take a microfarad reading. But what we need to do is disconnect one side. Crazy thing wants to move around on me. So we made sure our capacitor is discharged and I'm going to disconnect the common side, both wires, and we'll take a microfarad reading and see what we're at for the, both the fan and the uh, common and herm. So we're going common to herm and we should show 40 plus or minus 5 percent. But we're definitely low and we're out of range there. And on our fan we should be showing 5 microfarads and we just got nothing. 0 0.045. So we got a bad cap 40 slash 5. All right. Yep, 5% of 40 is 2, so our cap would at least need to be 38, should be in range or in tolerance. Uh, and anyway, this one needed to be replaced. I didn't have a 40, I was able to make one. So watch for that upcoming video on how to make different size capacitors. Uh, if all you have is a 40, how to make a 45. You know, if all you have is a 35, how to make a 40 and uh, also how to split the dual capacitor and the, uh, into two separate capacitors, one for the compressor, one for the fan. It's gonna be on an upcoming video. Hope you guys enjoy it. You can't, it's, you know, it's often better to go with the original setup, but in some situations, like if you had 500 air conditioners and they're all 35 uh, microfarad capacitors and you only have one unit that's a 40, I could see that situation where you might set it up to make uh, you know, make a 40 and that way you only need a stock 35 size and you're able to change them out. You know, different situations can have benefits, but anyway, there's definitely a benefit in just understanding how to do it and uh, just a way to survive. Anyway, thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over and out. Be on the lookout for some more videos to save you time, money, and energy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Get the latest.